This is the Fractal Audio EV-1. This is the Fractal Audio EV-2. And this is the Fractal Expression Pedal Tail of the Taper. If you're in the market for an Expression Pedal, you know that Fractal has two. There's the original EV-1 and then the new upstart, the EV-2. In this corner, we have the original champion, the EV-1. This pedal sets the standard for what an expression and volume pedal can be. And in this corner, we have the new upstart, the EV-2. Smaller package, but does it pack the same punch? Let's take a look at the matchup between the EV-1 and the EV-2. First off, colors. The EV-1 comes in black or silver, while the EV-2 comes in Henry Ford black. The EV-1 clocks in at 11.5 inches long, 4.1 inches wide, and a height of 2.85 inches, while the EV-2 is 7.5 inches long, 3.2 inches wide, and 2.6 inches high. The EV-1 weighs in at 3.7 pounds, while the EV-2 weighs in at a svelte 1.9 pounds. When used as an expression pedal, both pedals provide a true linear response taper. When used as a volume pedal, both the EV-1 and the EV-2 give the familiar audio taper of a volume pedal. As far as the jacks, the EV-1 has both the volume and expression jacks in the back of the unit, whereas the EV-2 has the expression on the back and the audio in and out on the sides. Both of these pedals offer planetary gearing for smooth operation that's out of this world. The best thing about these pedals is right here in their name, EV, Expression Volume, packs two punches. So you can use it as an expression pedal and it'll give you a true response linear taper, which is great for your expression pedals. Or you can use it as a volume pedal, where an audio taper gives you that feel and sound of a traditional volume pedal. As far as the construction of these pedals, they're both built like tanks. They both have the same cast metal construction and feel like they'll hold up years and years. As they say, these are pedals that you'll pass down to your grandkids. Both of these pedals have a super long throw, which is great if you're using it as an expression pedal or a volume pedal. You can really make the fine adjustments with your feet now. The main difference in these pedals is the size. You can see the EV-2 is about half the size of its big brother, the EV-1. Thin is definitely in with stomp boxes today. And the great thing about the EV-2 is that it's the width of a standard stomp box. So you'll be able to fit these on your board in places that you'd never thought possible before. Weight is the other big difference between these pedals, with the EV-2 weighing about half of its big brother. So you can really feel that difference with one pedal, much less two or three. As far as the jacks go, on the EV-1, they're all on the back side, with expression and the audio in out. Due to the smaller size of the EV-2, the expression jack is on the back, and the audio in and out are on either side. Now that we've gone 12 rounds with these pedals, which one comes out on top? I'd call it a split decision. Uh, both these pedals are great, have the same construction and performance. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one. If you have size or weight concerns, go with the two. Thanks for watching me run down these pedals. Uh, you're making a great choice if you pick either one, so don't worry about it too much. Uh, keep watching, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like me to talk about next time. Thanks.